Lago Zancudo, also known as the Swamp, has been a hotspot for rare sightings of unconventional animals. Claims of coyotes, bears, and even beavers have been reported to be seen here, but a more unusual creature has been claimed to live in these muddy swamps, a creature only known to us as the Swamp Monster. A monster that has been described as human-like with colourless skin, claws for fingernails, and glowing eyes. But could a monster like this really exist? I'm here to find out. Lagu Zancudo can be located along the banks of the Zancudo River in Blaine County. Although this creature's presence has not been spotted by many, the small few that have seen it would swear by its legitimacy. The creature has been described on many occasions to greatly represent the rake from the Creepypasta series. Many have also said the monster waits in the long grass and jumps anyone who passes by. To find out if this is true, I'll investigate once in the day and once at night. I will then gather up all my evidence and come to a conclusion. So here we are at Lago Zancudo, we're at the river, it's a lovely, lovely day and we're going to be doing our daytime investigation. This time we're going to do something a little bit different, where beforehand we uh, would walk around and just take a look at the place, but the Zancudo River and Lago Zancudo Swamp is a big place, so I thought what would be a better idea, instead of going on foot, we would go in one of these. That's right, we've got a helicopter here, um, we've got a little camera on the front so we can we can view things as we fly over, but uh, yeah, so we're going to go and quickly fly over the river and the swamp and see if we can see anything funny, just to give us an idea of how big the place is and, and what we're working with here, so let's get on with it. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is a Lake Zancudo, Lago Zancudo, and this is the swamp. It is massive and it goes for miles by the looks of it. We've got to be careful we don't get stuck in the mud because it looks like there's some very thick mud around here. And of course then we've got this bridge at the end here, so we, we're probably not going to go any further than this. Seems to be a lot of wildlife, there's some animals flying about, lots of birds on the ground, there's a deer or something down there by the looks of it. There's wildlife everywhere, whoa, holy shit. There goes some jets. <laughs> so we pretty much got from this bridge there, to this bridge all the way over there, and that will be the swamp. So this whole area is where we're going to have to investigate tonight. We'll probably have to drive up here. I think I think that little uh, wooden hut over here is a great place to start off our investigation. So as the sun is now going down, it's going to be the end of a beautiful day. We're going to take a look at the nighttime investigation now. We're going to bring the van around. We're going to set some camera equipment up um, in some spots and we will begin our investigation. So let's head back to base. Just pulling up along the side here, we're going to head towards that, that wooden hut that we spotted earlier. 
in the middle of the river. Um, there, it's quite freaky out here actually, there's lots of things running about in the road, so I'm, I'm a little bit wary, but um, we're going to head there now. Ah, here's our stop. Here it is. Okay, we're going to just, uh, we're going to pull up here, right in front of that deer. Um, so we got some cameras we're going to set up, and then we're going to do like we normally do, and we're going to explore and see if we can find this legendary creature. Okay, so it's half past ten, pretty much. We're going to get on with this now. So good luck, everyone. So this right here is the cabin that we saw earlier on. Seems to be a quad bike here and a boat. Holy fuck. I thought I saw red eyes then. Holy shit. It's just it's just a hill. I think I'm freaking myself out here. I'm gonna head back the way we just came, only because I think we've pretty much gone as far as we can go that direction before we hit ocean. So we'll keep getting heading back this way. The fuck was that? I guess it was just a bird, but um, that was that was spooky as shit. I can hear noises. Oh, holy fuck! Well, there's loads of deers around here. Holy crap! Figured if uh, if I was in the water and it was in the water as well, it would uh, pick me up and uh, maybe show its face. But it doesn't seem to be happening. Looks like the rain is starting to come down, but we're still okay. It just means it's going to be slightly harder to hear anything.
Looks like the weather's getting worse now. The wind is howling and the uh, seeing more rain. What's the time? It's about five o'clock. Is that thunder? Wow. What a view. Look at that. Oh, it's gone. I think we should probably head back to the car. Daytime is coming and uh, it's raining pretty hard right now. Let's make our way back. We're going to take one last look out on the swamp before we close our investigation tonight. It's cold. It's wet. It's miserable out here. But I think that draws a close to our investigation for tonight. Let's head back to the car and see what evidence we have got. So we're back here at the research lab and we're going to be going over some of the footage that we've recorded today. There wasn't really much that stood out in this whole investigation. There's one particular clip that I want to look at, which is a little bit unusual. There's some stuff that hasn't been instantly explained. So we're going to look at it now and we're going to break it down. So let's play the clip. The fuck was that? I guess it was just a bird, but, um, that was, that was spooky as shit. I can hear noises. Oh, holy fuck. Well, there's loads of deers around here, holy crap. So the clip starts off with a, a very weird high-pitched scream, which at the time I thought is a bird, and it could still possibly be a bird, but uh, it's unidentified from where it's coming from. Now what's unusual is straight after that unidentified scream or, or cry or whatever it is, we see two animals, both of them being deers, a male and a female, uh, one on the top left-hand side and one on the right-hand side. Now what's unusual to me is, as soon as that scream happens and I stand up and I go over to take a look, both the deers run off at the exact same time. Now what, what stood out to me with this one was, the distance I was away, I wouldn't have thought they would have seen me. The reason this is unusual is because they were running as soon as they heard that scream. Now if it was from a bird, why, why would they be running? Is it possible that they saw me from a distance away? I don't know. So I'm actually going to go back into the game and walk up to some deers and see if I can scare them. And then I'm going to compare the distance between that and the distance in this footage. What I'm trying to basically identify is were the deers scared of me or were they scared of something else around me? When you actually do a side-by-side -side comparison of both of these clips, it's clear to see that, in fact, I probably did just scare the deers in the first original footage. The distance looks about the same, and it's probably the most realistic explanation to what happened. Regards to the unusual screaming slash crying sound we heard, to be honest, it probably could have just been a bird. The birds make plenty of weird noises, and honestly, that would have fit the bill. But the real question is, is the swamp monster real, or is it just a myth? Well, I think it's obvious, I think this is just a myth. There's been no evidence in the night investigation to suggest that such a monster lives within the swamp. 
thank you very much for watching. If you have any uh, myths or legends you want me to investigate, make sure you let me know in the comment section below. Um, and if you think this myth needs to be reinvestigated for some reason, whether there's some cool evidence or some something I missed maybe, uh, let me know in the comment section below and maybe I will reinvestigate it if the reason is good enough. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all next time.